All right. <clears throat> Hello. We're going to be covering two pages of Schumann today. The youngest child of a bookseller in a small town near Bonn, Germany, Robert Schumann gave up, uh, grew up with a love for literature and avidly read all the writers of the Romantic period. He began to study piano at age 10, so that's kind of late. When he was 18, he went on to study law at Leipzig University, but he was not a serious law student. He began to take lessons from the well-known teacher Friedrich Weich, or Wich, maybe, and two years later moved into his house so he could devote himself to the piano. Unfortunately, the possibility of a career as a pianist was destroyed by a problem with the fingers in his right hand, so he turned to composing and writing about music. Schumann was one of the most famous uh, musical critics of the Romantic period. <clears throat> While he be was becoming recognized as an important composer, he also became a perceptive music critic and established and edited a music journal. When Schumann moved into the Wieck household, he met Wieck's daughter, Clara, who was then only 10 years old. She was a brilliant pianist and Wieck planned a concert career for her. Schumann lived with the family for many years and he and he and Clara fell in love. Clara's father opposed the match, but the couple went to court to obtain permission to marry and they were finally married the day before Clara turned 21. Schumann continued to compose, exploring the possibilities of, of song for piano and voice and then orchestral works and chamber music. In addition to being wife and mother of eight, Clara performed and went on tour. She was also very supportive of Schumann's work, performing his music all over Europe. In 1844-45, Schumann began to suffer from bouts of depression, which affected his ability to compose. In 1850, he was appointed music director to the town of Dusseldorf, but soon had to resign the post because of his mental state. He began to suffer from hallucinations. In 1854, he threw himself into the Rhine River, but was rescued. He then committed himself into a mental institution and stayed there until he died two years later at the age of 46. Notice these romantic composers don't live very long. It's kind of interesting. Schumann was a true romantic in his affinity for program music. And we're gonna talk a lot about his Carnival, which is sort of like a program piece. Many of his works have literary connection or refer to particular people or ideas. As the leader composer, Schumann comes second only to Schubert. So Schubert's big song person, also Schumann. He wrote over 300 liter, many of which were based on the works of the great Ger German poet Heine. He also composed several song cycles, the best known being the Dichterliebe based on Heine's poetry and women's lives and loves. His works for the piano are wonderful. Some are short works for children, others character pieces, which are longer program works. He often grouped the character pieces into collections connected by a particular theme, Carnival, containing 21 pieces, many of which are musical portraits of Schumann's friends and fellow musicians. Some are built around little words made up of names of notes. Scenes from children, Childhood is made up of 12 short pieces, each with a childlike ideal or mood behind them, like Traumerei, Dreaming, or Night of the Hobby Horse. Schumann wrote four symphonies. Two are programmatic, the first, or Spring Symphony, and the third, uh, Rhenisch, which he composed when he was appointed in Dusseldorf, a city on the Rhine. The Spring Symphony is the one most played today. His one piano concerto he wrote for Clara to play. He also wrote two other movements for the piano and orchestra. So a couple interesting things about Clara and Robert. Um, Again, we're dealing with these uh, issues of women in the workplace, essentially. So in the mid-19th century, women were, again, getting more and more rights, but we're not into the women's suffrage movement where they're beginning to vote or anything like that. Um, and so many women uh, either um, composed music and then put it under their husband's name, um, and there's actually some pieces that we think, you know, they, it says by Robert Schumann, but we think they might have actually been composed by Clara. So there are a couple of things like that. So Clara was a composer and pianist as well, and she was very talented. Um, um, so we're gonna actually spend most of our time uh, with Schumann on his carnival, 
uh, which is going to be in the listening lab. And there's um, a lot of pieces. We're not going to listen to all 21, but you'll see on the listening list, there's seven or eight, and some of them are quite short. And, um, you know, it's not going to be difficult, but we are going to look at how he how he tries to characterize all these different characters and people, real people, like Sh like uh, Chopin. All right. So um, I don't know that there's a lot to take down in your notes other than, you know, just the, the details about his life and how he, you know, how he died and, and those things. So there's nothing really that difficult here in this reading. So I uh, hope you are, were successful in putting together a little, a little bit of notes about this. All right. We'll see you for the listening lab.